Yes, I found it. I found the Hurleyman with a front loader. So what I've done is I've gone and bought that, and I've sold the old one. We didn't really put many hours on it, but we've still changed it. And you can see our money is now plus fifty-eight thousand, which is a lot more than what we had. And the reason for that is because during the night time when I wasn't filming, I went and did a bit of forestry. That's why we've got this on and I also have been busy drilling. You can see the drill is just there doing this field. It's already finished. Fields, ooh, what was it, 23, 20, no, 36 and 37. They're all done and dusted and they're all growing. We've got a bit of wheat, a bit of barley and this is obviously great growing in here. So what we're doing now is we're heading over to the livestock farm and we need to go and feed our cattle because our silage is ready. The clamp has done its job and it's only taken a night amazingly but it's done its job and we can now go and feed the cattle some silage and if you remember from yesterday we also need to feed our sheep because our sheep will be angry sheep if we don't give them any food to eat. So yes we're going to go and feed our cattle and then we're going to go and feed our sheep. So there's lots to do, um, we're going to also go and buy that other mower because, well I don't know if it's going <laughs> to fit this tractor but we're going to have an attempt at fitting that mower to this tractor. Whether or not it will work I have no idea but I want to try it because, well, it will look funny if nothing else. So pop this in the shed here without hitting the wall hopefully that's the problem with having the bucket on it makes it much tighter whoa that's gonna hit the top just taking a chunk out the barn roof um, yeah got to uh, sort this out Still not getting used to these controls. That should do it. Okay, in you go. Take another chunk out. Okay, so I've got the bucket, and like I say, it's because we're going to go and get some silage and um, we would be using that mixer there but we don't have any bales so not using that yet but I do plan to wow that is heavy that is heavy what's going on there okay that's um that's worrying. This silage seems to have turned into lead. Oh well, we will have to go and fetch a weight I suppose. That's crazy. I have no idea what's going on there. Um, yeah. Not sure. We'll go and get a front weight. And we will... Um, see if we can fix that issue. I never expected silage to actually tip the tractor forward. I guess it's because this tractor was never designed to put that front loader on. It's um, a mod which I got just because I thought it would look good on this tractor and it's a good all-round tractor to be using for our little shunting jobs and feeding the cattle really so that's why I've got it but I didn't think the silage would be quite so heavy, but it turns out that it is, so we'll just have to remedy this issue with a front weight on the back. Come on, let's see if we can... Oh, no, 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 we're never going to do that. If this traffic was a bit more realistic, we could have uh, got past, but 
everyone does the same speed. Not a bad day today anyway. We checked the forecast yesterday and it turned out that I think, was it Sunday or was it Friday? Friday I think. It was a wet day so what we're doing then I have no idea. Um, but yeah we established that it's all real time so that's pretty good. We are we're sticking by the days so when I publish this on a Wednesday it is actually a Wednesday in game so that makes it all the more realistic this front weight is probably a bit too heavy actually that's a thousand we don't want that we'll stick a 700 on it slightly more realistic wonder where it got to then great demand at transport company for wheat offer lasts for another 18 hours well I don't think we'll be harvesting in 18 hours so that's probably not going to be any use to us at the moment but we will be looking out for those deals I thought it said 100 then there's a 7 there um, so I'm hoping this is going to be enough for our front loader can't see why it would still flip forward with this on the back. 700 kilos is pretty heavy to be honest. Especially when you've got the counterweight of the front loader itself on the front. So if this is a problem as well then I guess we'll just have to get the new Holland but to be honest if it is a problem it's a bit weird. Is that drill still moving? Yes or no? doesn't look to be. The drill has stopped. It's given up on us. Why has it stopped? What's going on here? Nothing in the way. How odd. Off you go. probably come back later and it was stopped again after doing one breed there. Right, let's head back. I don't really have a problem with this tractor, I think it's pretty nice. It's nice to have a little small thing on the, on the farm. Not just the big equipment. Having said that, um, and seeing that, to be honest, the, the way it's re just reacted with that front loader, I don't think we'll be sticking two mowers on it. And I don't think this would be powering two mowers either, so I think we'll completely scrap that idea and just stick with the new home. We'll just use it for forestry and doing this if this works. I'm just driving around. Right. Attempt two. Yeah, there we go. Working well. We're working well. Let's go and give them a bit of feed if they want it. Otherwise, the sheep can have it. Still tipping over a bit. We sorted it, I think, really. Now that they're all feeding. Yeah, it's looking low. Yeah, they want some. They're still hungry. Don't know how many they want really. Uh, probably a couple. Some inside too. This will put the productivity up. Because we're not just giving them grass, we're also giving them silage. And I also want to give them hay and straw. But we can't do that yet. But we can when we do the baling. So we're getting closer every day. I know we're getting on fairly slowly but we are progressing forwards we could be doing it slightly quicker I guess if I wasn't messing around so much but um, yeah precisely my point yeah, they want quite a bit don't they, they've eaten a fair amount hungry beasts makes me think that this bucket's not going to be enough for those sheep. It's quite a distance. More wheat. 
Well, we still don't have any wheat, so we can forget about that for now. Hey, they're all crowding around it now, aren't they? They'll walk off. Oh, it's still filling. They have eaten a lot. Can you fill the forage wagon up with the front loader? Because if you can, that would be pretty amazing. Because we could take it over to the sheep. Let's have a quick go. We haven't got the trailer here, so I can't really use the trailer, but um, I know that would be what we would be doing. Oh, I can't lift high enough. No. We've just gone and dented the top of the wagon now. Yeah, if we had the trailer here, we could have given it to them in that, but... Well... These physics are going mad. It's crazy, we probably should have put the bigger one on. We are going fairly quickly. Okay, well, um, I think what we'll do is just, we'll just give them this. And then see if we can get something to give it to the sheep in. Can that trailer take it though? I don't know. What's the symbol for silage? We can get some in the bucket. Um, it doesn't seem to have a symbol. There we go. Okay, it looks a bit like a bale. Which means it can take it. So we'll grab that other trailer. And we will feed the sheep with that trailer. This is taking forever to fill. Oh, 80%, look at that. We need to get some more cows. Um, we haven't done any fixed mixed ration. We're now doing silage, so that's putting the productivity up. Um, ooh, collect the eggs, I think. I think we need to collect the eggs. Um, so, yeah, we can see the jobs today. It looks like it's going to be a mainly livestock day today. Feeding things, collecting things, all that kind of thing. If that drill's done, I'll go and grab it and get the trailer on it. No, oh, it's not done. Well, it'll have to be. So if we can go and locate that trailer, I don't know where I've put it. Could be at the yard. All the fields are growing now, so we're going to have a great big harvest when we're ready. I've just set it, set it off on autopilot. We'll do the carting, and um, the little tractor can be doing something else, uh, but we may have another tractor at that point, so um, depending on what we have, it will depend on what we do. I'll put the front loader on because I don't think that other tractor is capable. I have no idea where the trailer is. It's, oh, it's still got the grain in down the bottom. Well, I'm going to buy another trailer, so it's not the end of the world. I think we'll buy a red one. Quite fancy red against the blue. Let's, uh, oh, we don't want the 
log fork. Oh dear. And we'll go and grab that. Then we can load up this trailer with the silage. We can take it over. Oh, hang on. Yes, it does take it. Phew! That was a stroke of luck. Imagine if I'd gone and bought that trailer and then it wouldn't even take the silage. That would be annoying. Still, we're financially a lot better now than we were. So it wouldn't have been too much of a problem, but it's a bit annoying. And um, I think we'll also grab the other front weight while we're at it. Same time as getting the trailer, because for some reason that hell and none or however you pronounce it seems to really struggle with a bit of silage, which to me is a bit weird. I don't know what's going on there, but we can remedy it by using our big old New Holland. The New Holland, which likes to fly across the map. Yeah, not seen this trailer in red before. Looks very smart. Doesn't look bad at all. We got ourselves a new trailer. The amount of times I've done this route now, on these videos, back and forth. I'm hoping to move some stuff actually to another yard when we start to buy other fields, when we go up to the farm up you are, it's hard to see but you see the shore village at the top, there's a yard near there under field, it's almost underneath field 6 I think when we buy those fields and start using that yard so we keep some stuff separate from the others because at the moment we're only spending our time down the lower end of the map and it'd be nice to sort of diversify and go out there a bit and do some other stuff as well as this so we will load this up and I'm going to load it with the NH not with that Hurleyman <laughs> not with the Hurleyman we may want to put different weight on this though because this weight is pretty big the Hurleyman shouldn't even have a weight like that okay you drop your bucket there got there in the end and you can go out the way somewhere now you pick up the Hurleyman's bucket and we can start shoveling whether or not this is going to want a front a rear weight I don't know but we'll see we will see much better. It's a good all-rounder trailer this. I like it. I don't even know if this will be enough for the sheep but it all helps and their productivity is fairly shocking at the moment so I'm sure they'll appreciate something to eat don't know how many are going to fill it, probably two or three more well, one or two more actually this could be it it's looking full We'll take some in the bucket, so we've got a bit extra. If they don't want it, then we'll just give it to the cows, who seem really hungry.
Well, it's taking it. It's taking some. So we'll just fill that up and we'll take it. Can't put it too high because otherwise it will struggle. Okay, off we go then. Top speed is nine in reverse. That's unrealistic. It can do the same in reverse as the can forward. Well, most can anyway, not all. I'd have thought this one would be able to. That would be pretty amazing actually if you could do 26 miles an hour in reverse in this tractor. Oh, we're going a bit grey. It's looking a bit grey. The street lights have had to come on. It's crazy. It's only 11.30 in the morning. Oh, the weather's taking a real turn. We've still got to finish off that drilling. Mmm. Oh well, I'm sure the sheep won't mind. Never realised how far away those sheep are. They're way over the other end of the map. Top right hand corner. Way, 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 way over. Completely the opposite end. I hope our front load is doing a bit of a jig. There it goes. What's that's about. We've caught up with the traffic. What changes there? We'll take a right here. to go left again though. Taking a bit of a scenic route. Now I don't actually know how much we're making yet off the cows but their productivity is certainly increasing. We've got 20 of them, so milk production must be fairly good. Um, next time it goes dark and we get to midnight, I'll have to check what we're making. Because that's when you get paid. Uh, what it is at the moment, I have no idea. But it's probably around... Well, five or six thousand, I'd have thought. Probably what we're making in... Or using in maintenance fees. Come on. Don't want to run over you. You hologram. Mountain the curb. Okay, here we are. Have some feed. Turns green as soon as it hits the trough. Oh, don't tell me that's gone and filled it. Surely not. One bucket load. It looks full. It'll probably miraculously take the whole trailer. Nope. <laughs> it took a bit. Still, we probably didn't need to bring the trailer. <sighs> oh well. Um, now is that pallet ready for us to take? Now I know I've got a bucket on here, but will it move? It will move. We'll go and get a pallet fork then, I think. Once we've taken this back. Um, actually, the Harley one's probably a good one to do that with. Pallet fork. Come on, you're required. 
Maybe this time you won't do a wheelie. Once again, we're driving the same piece of road. Well, what changes? <laughs> That's all we ever seem to be doing. We're going to have to devise a plan of spreading our machinery out a bit so we're not always on the same bit of road. Well, this thing can probably live near near the sheep, actually, because that's nearer the woodlands or the forests or whatever we're calling them. And it's also um, near the sheep. Now, whether or not the sheep want to keep that trailer of stuff is a different matter. Um, they probably can, actually, because we can do the front loader and bucket with the cows to feed them and the sheep are quite a way off and if we just have to hitch this up to that trailer and empty them into the trough then hmm, doesn't sound like a very bad idea to me it saves these long journeys and when you're doing a speed 26 it's kind of tedious so let's grab hey what's going up with that indicator Let's grab the uh, pallet fork and then we can go and get that wall and take it to, it's not far away is it that place, um, the spinnery, yeah it's just up there. So let's see what we can make off of that, I doubt it would be much although wool is probably quite expensive in this game. So, well, yeah, let's just see what we can do. The weather forecast seems to be really poor, but at least it's not raining. We would have the drill going, but we've had to leave off. Mm. So, um, I don't think we've got many more fields to drill. 41's done. Um, yeah, 40 is grass, 36 is done, I think. Um, 37 is done. Yeah, 28 is almost done, 23 is done. 29 isn't done, 24 is done, 25 is done, and 30 isn't done. So yeah, there's a few more to do. Um, but shouldn't take us too long. I'll probably just do what I could did yesterday, do the rest of the drilling when I'm not recording, just so it's not quite so tedious. And then we'll be closer to doing our mass harvest. Of course it means doing it with that same combine, but hopefully when the first harvest is done we could be able to move on and buy that bigger New Holland I think it is, or maybe even the case and then we could do that. All depends on how much we get from the cows, the wool and the wood. That will all depend on the amount of money we make and whoa, 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 whoa. and uh, the amount of stuff we can buy. So, mm. Anyway, let's see this and hope it doesn't weigh le the amount, same amount of... Uh, that's a mouthful. Hey, it's going! Hope it doesn't weigh the same amount of as lead, I was going to say. Yeah, it had a bit of trouble coming out. Yeah, I don't know why it just walked off. Hmm. Thank you, Fence, for assisting us. You've got some serious problems here. Oh, it's because there's more spawning. Oh, we should have brought a trailer then. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It seems to have... Mm. Weird. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll know for next time. We can bring a trailer or something. But um, I guess we could actually line them up so more can spawn. And then we can come with a trailer and fetch them all off. Now, what trailer will take these? I'm not 100% sure because... I know there is a bit of an issue with things flying off the bale trailer, and um, I don't really want that. Do you have another one? 
No. No more. So, um, yeah, the new Holland can take these back because that trailer and this is staying up here. So we'll leave that pallet fort with it. Oh. Okay, the front, the rear weight won't go back on. That's kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Um. Yeah, there we go. That's weird. Um. So that can go on the back now. A front. I'm getting my back and front mixed up now. Um. And then we can fit that onto the trailer and. You know, put it away somewhere. We'll put it over here for now. We're going to need it fairly soon. I would imagine. Because they'll still want feeding. Bit of shelter for it. And... Yeah, we've still got the bucket on. I'll have to get that another time. Ah, oh, another one spawn. Ah, oh. It's because we've fed them. We've got more productivity out of them. So they're producing more. Okay, let's um let's fetch this one off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flying wool. Yeah. That's not that does not look good, does it? Oh well, we'll take this one. Yeah, it's upside down, but hmm, not going to mess around. So we'll just sell this one. Next time we'll come back with the trailer, get the rest, and um, yeah, we'll be able to sell the rest. So I'm going to be intrigued to see what this is worth. You'd think it'd be worth a fair amount because of wool and. Yeah, high demand for it. But whether or not, I have no idea. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Upside down pallet. <laughs> How awful this looks. And I started off this series saying, yeah, I'm going to be realistic. Yeah, that's not exactly turned out, has it? We carry our wool upside down. We flip our tractors over in every episode. We move entire trees, <laughs> move entire trees with our front loader, and essentially fail at everything I do. Hmm. I guess things can change. Maybe when we're on day 100, we'll be uh, a bit better. We might actually be carrying the pallets the right way up. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Wow, do you think I'll still be doing this at a day 100? I think I will. Don't hold me to it, but I guess it depends how much uh, how much fail we have. If I fail too much, then <laughs> I'm guessing it won't be working out too well. Although, people don't seem to care about my fails because I've never had a dislike. Why have you just disliked my video for saying that? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, I've only had a like on all of my videos, which is kind of nice. I, I can't believe people do like it that much, because I think they're actually pretty bad. But I do them for fun. But if I'm making other people happy, then it's fine by me. I don't actually know what that was worth. It hasn't gone up by a great deal. But you will know, because you'll have been watching the price while I was blabbering on. So
So we can actually now turn around because we don't need to be here anymore. We're going to grab that drill. We've fed everything. We'll finish off that field, put the drill away until later, and then we'll go and gather those eggs. Because those eggs need to be sold. Come on, transit. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't turn down there, whatever you do. Okay, let's get cracking then. Not too much left to do. In fact, not anything left to do really, but these jobs need doing. Saves putting a worker on it as well, so might as well do it myself. I think the worker get con gets confused when the fields are a funny shape. If they're not square, it sort of gives up. He thinks, oh, I can't bother with this, I'm off. Saves us money, but yeah, it's annoying when you leave it going and then you come back and it stops. It doesn't do it with the big fields, it just does it with the small ones. I think I've had an issue with this field before, actually. It doesn't like the, the funny shape. It doesn't like the, the diagonals. So, if you're wondering why and when I started doing YouTube, um, it was actually back in, I'm in my first YouTube channel in 2007, thinking, well, YouTube's fairly new, it had been around for about two years, and I thought, oh well, everyone's talking about it, I might as well get an account, and I had my account, didn't put any videos on it for a long, long time, but I always watched YouTube videos, and just generally found YouTube a nice thing to be on. Um, of course there are the, the weird sides of YouTube but we tend to avoid them. Um, but then in 2008 I started uploading videos and they actually became fairly popular on a different channel than mine but the views completely stopped on them and well I didn't have any any need to keep them those channels running so I closed it down a while back, probably about 2010 and opened some new ones and have been uploading fairly regularly since then. Dagawin was open I think about 20th of January this year um, and I've got another one, Machinery Restorer, where I actually restore lawnmowers and ride-ons and diesel tractors and well not full-size tractors but little ones and um, yeah just restore Real, real equipment. It's mainly mowers, but I enjoy doing it. And what I do is I get an old, rusty old lawn mower, rotting away, in decay, about 30 years old, and um, strip all the paint off, get it nice and clean, ready to be painted again. Get my spray gun out, and then I spray it in all its nice new paint, make it look really nice. Sometimes I keep them, other times I um, sell them. What am I doing? I've completely lost track of what I'm doing. Did we say we were doing the eggs? I think we did. Yeah, we'll go and get the pickup. Yeah, sometimes I sell them, sometimes I keep them. Depends on what I feel about the machine, whether I need it or not, whether I like it or not. Um, and that is actually my other, other thing I do. I do these videos which are fairly new, I've only just started doing these and restoring mowers so um, that is the YouTube channels that I do get that to cover a bit more um, so go and have a look at Machinery Restore if you want to that's my other channel um, that's Machinery Space Restorer R-E-S T O R E R and um, yeah, have a look to see what I've put on there because that is my other YouTube channel. And um, well, I wanted it to be fairly big, it's only got about 190 subscribers, but 
They're climbing, slowly. This one's climbing too. It would be nice to have a big channel. But I guess you've got to start somewhere, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to start up from the bottom, building up to the top. Well, not even the top, I don't even want to be at the top. I like putting YouTube videos on. It would be nice to be popular, but I guess it happens if I am if I'm making good videos, if I'm not making good ones then I'll never be popular but if you do like these videos it would be I'll be grateful if you shared them um, so yeah we'll uh, we'll go and collect these eggs, I think there's about 50 of them so I've got a fair amount to be doing here we'll go up and down just trot on a chicken's foot oh great big mound of them there look at all these can't remember how much you get from them not too much. I think there was one which was not showing up before. I seem to remember. It said there was more than there actually was. It could have rolled away, I guess. But, yeah. There was one not showing up. Is that all? Four more. Well, I think there's three more, but it was. There's one. One. Hmm. Where are these other ones? Oh well, that'll do for now. Can't find it. We're going to take these over to the egg selling place, um, which is, where is it, near the windmill. So we'll head over there, and then I think we'll call it a day. That's probably in it, about it for today. Um, not really much arable. Mainly doing all the livestock, but we've got to keep on top of these things. The productivity must be fairly high now, actually, of those cows. Once we've got the mixed ration in, we should be on about 100%. So I think we're on about 80 the sheep, I haven't looked since so who did it, but they're on 100%. Oh, yeah, of course they will, because there's only one feeding. So, yeah, pretty good. 80% for the cows. So, when we've got the cows on mixed ration, they should be 100% too, which means we're on the right track for glory. This pickup has got no traction at all. You can be driving straight and it'll spin off course. Okay, almost there. I seem to remember it was a house. Yes, here we go. Here, have some eggs. Seriously, I got about £300 from that. Oh well, it gets rid of them. I guess, <laughs> I guess that would be a fairly expensive egg though if you got thousands from it. Oh well. Okay, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll see me in my next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching.